kids, welcome back to another wonderful Monday night. I just want everyone to do something real quick. Will you look at your neighbor and will you tell them I love you? Say I love you to the person next to you and give them a big hug. I just feel like we need some love and we need some hugs right now. But anyways, we are continuing our series Unboxed. So make sure you are participating and you're having all of your friends and loved ones participate because they have a chance to win too. You have a chance to win because what is it all about? It's all about toys, toys, toys. Everyone remember to stay tuned till the end because we have three prizes that we're giving away today. So make sure you stay till the end so you can see who wins those. And parents, thank you so much. We have a lot of participation this past week. I think I had maybe 10 or 12 kids participating. Keep it up, keep those videos and pictures coming. And even those of you who are not members of Highest Praise, send us your videos too, we'd love to have them. Now, moving on, we have a very special birthday that just passed. It was Jaden, Jaden turned eight years old. Happy birthday, Jaden. Now on to some housekeeping business. In fourth place, we have Rome with 146 points. In third place, we have Persia with 173 points. In second place, we have Babylon. They broke 200 with 201 points. And in first place remains Greece with 258 points. Keep up the awesome work. And now with our memory verse, we have Brother Josiah and Sister Ava. Take it away, guys. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Jeremiah 1, 5. Now, I have some current events that I would like to talk about today. Did you know that we've been having a lot of earthquakes? Just the other day, there was an earthquake next to Los Angeles where my sister lives. That's super scary. Did you guys feel it? Well, what are we supposed to do when an earthquake hits? You're supposed to duck, cover, and hold, right? Duck, cover, and hold, right? Let's practice it. Okay, when I say earthquake, I want everybody to duck, cover, and hold. Okay, that means you go under a sturdy table, you cover your neck and you just hold it. When I yell earthquake, ready? One, two, three, earthquake! That's how you're supposed to do. Whoa! Whoa! Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. It's time for a lesson. Woo, I don't know about you, but I'm all earthquaked out. But we do have some really cool gifts. So let's check out this one first. show you up close. This is a Star Wars Y-Wing Starfighter. It's a model kit. So all of the pieces to make this ship are in here. So you can make your own Y-Wing Star Wars ship. That's super, super cool. But I have a question for you guys. Do you know what the most popular toy is that you can build things with? That's right. It's Legos. Now remember, we saw some Legos in last week's episode. So today I'm going to build a super tall tower. Are you ready? Let's do it.
That was cool. I want to do it again. You know what? I think the Fitch family has a good idea of what might have happened today. Go ahead, guys. Praise the Lord, Kingdom Kids. It's me, Sister Mary, along with John and Bella. And today we're going to talk to you about a parable or a story that Jesus Christ told the people while he was here on earth. And that parable is found in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 27. So Bella's going to go ahead and read that as John... Um, explains the story. Everyone who hears these things I say and obeys them is like a wise man. A wise man built his house on a rock. It rained hard and the water rose. And the winds blew and hit that house. But the house did not fall. Because the house was built on rock. But the person who hears the, the things I teach and does not obey them is like a foolish man. The foolish man built his house on sand. It rained hard, the, house. the water rolled, and the winds blew and hit that house. And the house fell with a big crack. So there you have it. The houses represent us as Christians, and the foundations represent God or God's word. So what this story was telling, that Jesus was telling us, is that we have to build our lives around his word and obey his word and hide it in our hearts so that when hard times come, into our lives we will be able to withstand the storms because we have God's teachings and we've placed them in our hearts we do not want to be like the foolish man because he did not listen to any of God's word so when the storms and the trials came his way his house or his life fell apart because he was not built on God or God's word we hope you liked our illustration today, and we'll turn it over back to Sister Nicole. Thank you, God bless. Oh, you have to have a strong foundation if you wanna have a strong building. That totally makes sense. One that can stand even during earthquakes. Chances are, if you're watching this, you're alive and you live in a good house. That means if you're a strong Christian like Sister Mary says, and you're doing what Jesus says, and you're doing what the Bible says, you're gonna be in a strong house. But if you're not a good Christian and you're not listening to what the Bible says, you're gonna be in a weak house and you can just fall with Well, if you do fall, you know you need a stronger foundation. Earthquake? Guess what time it is? It's golden giveaway time. Let's see. Ooh, what do you think it's gonna be? I hope it's something cool. I hope it's a cool Lego. Oh, it is a super cool Lego. Guys, this is the super popular three-in-one Lego and you can make a shark or a squid or a, what are those thingies called? A piranha out there in the Amazon. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing. Whoever wins this is gonna be 
the coolest. Remember, if you participate this week with our challenge, you have a chance to win that super cool Lego, so do not miss out. Hey Kingdom Kids, my name is Sister Yolanda, and I am here to do a presentation to show you how uh, what our life is about and how we are founded on a foundation and how we can be uh, good people or kind of not good people. And what I'm going to be talking about today is the foundation of God. And Jesus was the rock. He is the rock of our lives. He's the rock of our, our salvation. And as you notice, the rock is really hard. You know, it's not soft. And we want to make sure that we are sturdy like this, like God showed us to do. And I have two rocks here to do. And this is my foundation first. And you can tell it's really sturdy. It's not squishy. And what are we going to do? We're going to build our house. And I'm going to do with these Lego blocks, all different colors, as you can see. And I'm going to start building one by one here. And we can tell that with this, we are sturdy in the foundation of God. And Jesus tells us that we need to be like the wise man. The wise man is the one that's building the blocks one at a time here. And he's doing, okay, what can I do to serve God? I can go to church, listen to my mom and dad, read the Bible. I can be nice to my friends because the foundation is all going to be very strong. And as we're going up, we can tell that this is going to be very, very sturdy. Now we're going to start again with Matthew 7, 26 through 27. And it talks about the foolish man, which is the other man. Not the wise man, but the foolish man. And he wanted to build his house also. But his foundation was not very good, as you can tell. Uh, it's kind of squishy, and he wanted to do it right away. And he wasn't very smart. He says, I want to do it now. I don't want to wait. I don't want to make a foundation that's nice and strong. I want to do it now. So he says, I want to start building. So he started building one by one, the blocks. And he says, nope, I don't want to go to church today. I don't want to pay my tithes. I don't want to listen to my mom and dad. I don't want to do that right now. I want to do what I want to do. But we need to know that this is not going to work. But he didn't want to listen. Just like some of us, we don't want to listen to our mom and dad. And we can tell that he started to build. He says, I want to build it really tall. And I don't want to, I don't care what's going to happen. I know it's going to be fine. I know it's going to be great. Now we see that our house is all ready. We see the foolish man and we see the wise man. Now it's going to begin to rain and we think, you know, what's going to happen to these two people? These two men that thought their houses were real good and strong. So we're going to start with the wise man. Here he is. The storm is coming. And we see that it's standing. Even with the flood. <laughs> Even with the flood. And still his house is standing. He goes to church. He listens to his mom and dad. His parents. You know, they're very proud of him. And you can see the house is standing very nice and strong. Now the foolish man, as we can see, his house is still standing nice and strong. And it's pretty good, but then the rains come and the storm comes. Oh my goodness. And, <laughs> and it's just gonna flood everywhere. Oh my. And there it goes. The wise man, is very sorry when he didn't listen to the word of God and his foundation was just destroyed. So we need to make sure that we know that Jesus is our rock. And with him, we can do anything. He's with us through uh, thick and thin. Let's say right now we're going through this COVID and we're afraid of what's going to happen to us. But we know that God's going to be with us because he's strong. And we know that he's going to be faithful to us. And it, no matter what's going to happen, financially, you know, uh, sickness. But we know that with God, we are strong in Him. And I know that He's going to be with us and we're going to make it through all of this. For some reason, the people helping me today are just so amazing. I can't get enough of them. But anyways, let's worship!
much fun. Awesome job, you guys. Now, your task for this week is you are going to create your own earthquake simulation video and share it with me. So however you want to pretend to have an earthquake or show me duck cover and hold, however you want to show me an earthquake, what an earthquake looks like, send a video to me or you can tag us and hashtag us, but I cannot wait to see those. All right, it is time to give away our three special prizes. And we had a lot of participation this week, so I'm excited to see who's gonna win our first prize. All right, our first prize is our little monster pop-up. So let's see who's gonna get that. Going around, going around, and we have Jeremiah, Jeremiah, these are for you, buddy. All right, let's throw those, toss that. Next, we have our squishy ball. Let's see who's gonna win our squishy ball. Emery, Emery, this is your squishy ball. All right, grand prize yo-yo. Let's see who gets it. Keep it up. Okay, it is bonus point wheel time. Let's see who gets it this week. Babylon, congrats guys. All right, it is that time again. It's time to say goodbye. We are so sorry we have to say goodbye. But until next week, keep up the great work, you guys. You guys are doing a beautiful job. Now, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much, God, for the awesome lesson we learned today, God. Help us to continue to build our houses on you. We want to build our houses on the rock of Jesus Christ. And we don't want to be swayed by earthquakes or sand or storms, God, but we want to be steadfast and we want to be solid on you, Jesus. Help us to do that, God, and cleanse us of our sins, Lord, and be with us this week as we continue with our schooling. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. See you next time.